no. Thank you, everyone. So it's my first call here. So quite new to the Ecosystem Alliance. So really looking forward to meeting the people. And I want to explain you a bit more about day one and what we do uh, from Basel, Switzerland. And what we do or what we are is we call ourselves an open innovation platform for digital health and med tech. And we have a community of more than 7,000 members right now where we connect problem owners and problem solvers. And what it means is we connect SMEs, uh, large corporates, mainly pharma and med tech, care providers, payer, government, uh, public agencies with tech innovators and startups, but also academia. And we push them through our programs, through our accelerator, catalyst projects, and our events to support innovative health healthcare ventures. And we don't do that alone. We are part of a larger organization called Basel Area Business and Innovation, which is a, a location promotion and innovation promotion in the Basel area, Switzerland. So it actually involves three Swiss regions. And we have other initiatives uh, focused on biotech, focused on industrial transformation of life sciences and general entrepreneurship supports. And that will represent a bit the way we work. So we we work on building the networks, uh, putting people together on events, uh, collaborating in Catalyst projects. So we have been part of Interreg projects, for example, in the past. Uh, it's harder and harder for us as a Swiss member to be part of them, but still part of some right now. We keep our accelerator, which is growing larger and larger and becoming more of the core of what we actually do. And then we still have a team doing foreign direct investment and we offer collaborative workspaces. We are in Basel, Switzerland. It's the life science hub. We have more than 700 life science companies here in the region. And just uh, our a bit on our track record, we have supported 87 companies since 2019. And we are right now supporting 40 companies uh, or 40 early stages startups uh, per year. We support uh, startups, uh, so some of our figures, but just uh, so that's not so relevant for you. We support the startups through three verticals or three programs where all our partners are part of. So we have a program named Health 4.0, which is a bespoke program for pharma. And from next year, we'll also be including MedTech. And here we support early to mid stage startups at the interface with life sciences. We scout uh, globally. So we have a startups from more than 40 countries that have gone through this program. And for those of you in the US, you might be familiar with a program called Farm Stars. And it's basically the Farm Stars in Europe. We actually share a lot of mentors, experts, and common themes. The main difference is we are a non-for-profit, so we take no equity, no fees. So startups can join us uh, for free. Then we have Digital Health Nation, which is a Swiss-based program. Uh, it's Swiss-wide, it's a public-private consortium, and here we support 20 early stage ideas or projects every year uh, between uh, startups and academia. So here we foster collaboration between early stage startups and academic partners. And Day One Tech, which is a specialized math tech program focusing on hardware, where we support all the stages of medical technology that can benefit from manufacturing partnerships. And that has a main reason because many of you might be familiar with Basel and Basel being the pharma hub or life sciences capital, but not many of you might be familiar with the Jura, which is part of the Basel area. And the Jura in Switzerland, it's traditionally the valley of Swiss watchmakers. That's where if you have an expensive watch in your arm, probably the components have been made there. So it's not where the watch brands are, but where the components for watches are actually made. And this region is actually transforming into all this manufacturing and micro technology, electronics and expertise on materials into the med tech sector. So that's somewhere where we do a lot of work on connecting SMEs and suppliers to companies globally that need this expertise and this technology. 
just for you to see some of our partners. We have more than 70 partners right now, so only some of them on the slide, but we have pharma partners, we have insurances, we have uh, hospitals, we have technology centers, we have uh, other associations, we have public sector and the governments involved, and we try to grow uh, these collaborations uh, more and more. And part of our next face as an initiative as they want is to expand across the borders and enhance the international collaborations. And that's why mainly we have become part of ECH Alliance so that we can go uh, together into this stage. This is the team. So I'm the director of healthcare innovation, but I have a team behind. I couldn't do that alone. And just maybe two news, the call for applications. I know it's only two days for now, but if you have any startup at the interface with pharma or that need pilots and collaborations with global pharma companies to succeed, you can send them to us. They have two days to apply or shoot an email to Cecile and ask for an extension until Monday so that they still can get that done. And the last one is that we will also be at Health Europe. So my colleague Quiva will be there. And if you want to know more of what we do at day one, and you also happen to be in Amsterdam, please reach out to her directly via the app. And I think now.